Hey guys, it's Dr. Dewis back again with another great set of music tech tips for you. Now today we'll be looking at the fantastic Logic Pro Tool Selection Box. Knowing how to use keyboard shortcuts to switch the mouse pointer to any tool you desire is absolutely essential in speeding up your workflow. So let's get started. Now when you're working in Logic Pro X, the mouse pointer can be transformed into a range of different tools. Now you can do this by going up to this toolbar, clicking here and selecting tools from this list. Now up here, you can decide which tools have been assigned to the left click or command click options. Now let's say for example, I set this one to erase a tool and this one to say mute tool. If I came here and I press the left click on my mouse, that disappears. If I move to this one, however, and press command click, I'll be able to mute. Now, of course, there's a quicker way of doing this by using keyboard shortcuts or key commands. Now, let me show you how. So to display the toolbox, simply press letter T on the keyboard. There we are. To remove it, press T again. Once you've selected the toolbox, you can glide through and select any tool you like by clicking on it. Erase a tool, press T again, and automatically it switches back to the pointer. Let's undo that. Let's try the mute tool. T, mute, mute, T again, and automatically we're back to the pointer. Better still, there are extensions to the toolbox key commands or shortcuts. By pressing letter T, then pressing number four, I automatically switch to the text tool. Now I can rename this. Let's try something else. T3, erase. Okay, press T again and you're back. Let's undo that, undo that. Now, the great thing about this is once you learnt the numbers associated with the different commands, you are going to be flying. Now, let's say, for example, I wanted to split this region right here. I'd go T5 and straight away we've got the scissors tool. OK, T again and it's back to the pointer. Now, how about unmuting this audio region? It's T8. There we go. Really, really quick. Hit T again and you're back to the pointer tool. So the key to this is making sure you understand what all of these tools do. Okay, and then just use your keyboard shortcut T3, eraser, T4, rename and you're well away to speeding up your workflow. I really do hope this tutorial has been of benefit to you. Do remember to subscribe, like, and comment. Hope to see you again soon. Peace.